Hey, it's Greg from Scholar Farms and we're doing a quick unboxing of the Parrot Disco Pro Ag, which retails for $4,500 US and includes this nice backpack, the drone, and an integrated Sequoia camera. So we'll just walk through the quick unboxing. It comes with this nice soft case backpack, which I really like for hiking out in the field and just trucking my drone in and in compared to carrying a big heavy case. And so I can just go ahead and unzip this and we'll flip it open. On the top then you'll see that there are a set of wings. It just comes with one set of wings, but replacement wings are fairly cheap at around $60 or so on the Parrot website. I'll just pull those out, set them aside. So two wings, uh, they come, you can see the connectors here, uh, the little pegs that kind of stick out, and then you'll connect that into the drone. On the top here as well, there's a nice little pocket for storing extra cables or SD cards or anything that you need. That's kind of a nice feature as well as the phone mount for the Sky Controller 2. We'll flip that open then and you can see the main part of the drone. So we have the drone body here with a cover, a rubber cover on the front forward facing camera. We'll set the drone aside and talk about that in just a bit. You cut the package comes with three batteries. These are standard LiPo batteries or lithium polymer batteries. So you get three with the $4,500 package. Um, so that's nice. You're getting anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes or so of flight time, depending on um, what the weather conditions are. And so you can map anywhere from 50 to 100 acres or so, depending on the altitude that you're flying above the crops. And it's really a crop scouting tool. That's what it's meant for. We also have a, the manual. There's actually two manuals that come with this drone. The first manual is the manual for the drone itself. So the Parrot Disco Pro Ag manual. We also have the Sequoia manual. So the manual for the multi-spectral camera. In addition, we have a couple of flyers in here. These are really for post-processing. So one is for Aronov processing. It's a cloud processing tool for stitching the multispectral data. You also get a free month of PIX40 AG when you buy it. So that's included with the purchase of the drone. We also have a flyer that says update your camera to make sure you're on the most recent firmware of the camera, which makes sense. In addition to the batteries and the folder containing the manuals, we have a small little bag here. This has cables and cords and things um, for charging your controller and the drone, um, as well as some different plugs, depending on what country you're in uh, for charging. Then we have the Sky Controller 2. This is the standard controller for Bebop or for Disco. You're getting about two kilometers of range with this controller. So we'll go ahead and clear off the backpack and I'll walk through the anatomy of the drone. Disco Pro Ag, or, or the Disco in general, is a flying wing, so it's a wing shape. We'll go ahead and just pop our wings into the side of the drones. You wanna make sure that the servo motors are flush with the drone, uh, and then you just go ahead and pop your wings in and ensure that the bottom of the wing, there's a little clip, a little plastic piece there that, that's in line with the servo. So fairly easy to assemble this drone um, and, and fairly quick. Then we have a magnetic lid. This is similar to say an EB. It can just pop right off and you can see the inner workings of the Disco. There's lots of walkthroughs on the Disco already, but you have the chuck in here. It's a red autopilot um, and it does both onboard storage. It controls the camera, has a sonar on the bottom and then your pitot tube for turning the drone on and off as well as getting airspeed. It's also an indicator light for the status of your drone. To insert the battery, um, you'll actually have to unplug the camera. So the, cam the Sequoia camera is now a, a modified version. They've, they've put it into this little adapter or holder so that there's wind flow through the camera. It does tend to heat up as well as you can mount the irradiant sensor, the light sensor. So that's really important for collecting light data on sunny days or cloudy days for uh, mapping plants. It's an important consideration. Um, and then we have the camera on the bottom. That's all one piece now. It's a nice uh, aluminum, manufactured aluminum. Um, and then we can just slide that into the phone. But before we do that, you will want to put your battery in um, and plug your battery in because the cable connecting the camera to the autopilot gets in the way of the battery. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just kind of a minor inconvenience, but uh, you do have to do that. 
then you'll want to plug your cable into from the camera back into the autopilot and we're good to go. So we have our battery connected and we have our camera reconnected to the drone. Uh, just the important considerations, uh, once the drone is done flying, there is an SD card here that you would plug, just slide right out of the irradiance sensor. You can also pop your camera back out and plug the camera directly into your computer. But we're good to go, we'll just pop our lid back on here and then we need to think about our controller. So I've already gone ahead and screwed in the phone mount to the controller. Just note that this isn't a standard ball and socket. It's not gonna move around. You can break it fairly easily. You do need to push down to turn it from horizontal to vertical position. So you push down on the phone holder and then it can turn. It's easy to, to get confused there and it could be easy to break the controller. From there then I need my phone and I need my phone cable to plug directly into the controller. So I'll go ahead and get those. So now I'm mounting my phone with the plug facing downward and just popping that in there, as well as plugging the USB into the front of the controller. Go ahead and plug that in. And then my phone cable directly into my phone. Now when I'm out in the field, I sometimes can forget my phone cable, and that's important. I just bring extra cables. I, I keep one in my drone, and one in, or drone bag, and one in the car because it's something that's easy to forget. From there, I'm going to do my mission planning through Pix40 Capture, but I can also go into Free Flight Pro, the Disco app, and I can control some of the settings like the geofence and um, my flight altitude, as well as some of the other factors. Uh, I can calibrate the drone. Etc. So you can do that through Free Flight Pro, and then you can also do some of those features in Pix40 Capture for mapping. From there, I'm going to follow the workflow for Pix40 Capture, and there's a countdown sequence, and then I will throw my drone once the propellers have started and revved up all the way into the wind. It'll go and map, and then it'll come back and, and land. So that's just a quick walkthrough of the workflow for Disco Pro Ag, $4,500 the drone, three batteries, the controller, a fully integrated Sequoia, which retails for $3,500. So for $1,000, you're getting all of that and a nice backpack. So I'm Greg with Scholar Farms. I hope that's a useful walkthrough for Disco Pro Ag, and we'll talk to you again soon.